following our discussion of ways of measuring different physical properties, let's discuss um, reporting values in a bit more detail. I'd like to start with reporting measurements using scientific notation. Um, it is a method of writing a really large or really small number, so that way it takes up less space. Um, and what it'll be composed of is a coefficient or a number that's usually between one and 10, or something that has a decimal place followed by other digits. Then it's multiplied by 10 to an exponent. And this exponent will be a whole number and it'll be either positive or negative. If the, the exponent x is positive, then we're representing a large number. And if it's negative, then we're representing a very small number. So looking specifically at our positive exponent, if we have for our coefficient an integer of 2.8, um, and we have a positive x value of positive 2, then it's to, to, to convert this, it's like saying 2.800 times 10 squared, which would be like times 100. Right. Um, an easy way to think about this rather than multiplying out the tens value is just to move this decimal place right here over two places. Um, so that way we would end up with a number like 280.0. If instead we had a negative two in our exponent, then we would be multiplying this by um, 0 0.01. Or we could think of moving our decimal place over two places to the left and have a value of 0 0.02810. And so this is a way of representing a number so that way we can easily understand its significant figures, which we're about to discuss, um, and uh, make something that's really big, like if we had the number 2800000. And we didn't want to write out this huge number every single time. We could write out 2.8 times 10 to an exponent that would represent this number right here. In which case, I would, I would figure that out by going, well, how many decimal places do I need to move to have 2.8 be my um, coefficient value? And it'd be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I'd multiply 2.8 times 10 to the 6. This would be the way to represent this large number in scientific notation, and these two values are equal to one another. A common mistake I see in this class is writing things in scientific notation um, using the 10 to the exponent correctly, but not getting the coefficient piece correct. One thing I'd like to point out about this is in both cases, the number is represented by a value, then a decimal place, and then the remaining values um, as decimals. And so the key here is you only have one number um, before the decimal place. So one through nine, really. So maybe one through 10 isn't the best way to say this, but one through nine. Um, so that way we always have just one digit before our decimal place. Because um, if I had something written as 28 times 10 to the fifth, I could write that also as 2.8 times 10 to the sixth. And so we're going to want to keep this same format to be consistent um, when we discuss and report numbers.